Hey guys, Modzy here, back with another restoration video, but today is going to be a little bit more fun. So this is my GeForce 7950 GX2. Two PCBs with a 7950 GT core on each PCB. But the reason I wanted to mention this card is this is one of the few cards that started its life as a Quadro card. So before this card came a uh, Quadro FX 4500X2, uh, which is a very similar design to this, two PCBs, uh, single single bus, uh, it had two power connectors, but it was also about this long. It was gigantic, and that was actually based on two 7900 GTX cores, so full-fledged GTX cores, um, essentially, but obviously they were Quadro uh, variants. That card was sold as a Quadro, you can buy it on eBay as a Quadro, and it had a GeForce variant. It had a GeForce version, which was not sold to retail. It was sold through OEMs like Alienware or Dell Alienware and some other builders, uh, system builders, like system integrators and stuff, that uh, it was sold as either two, it was sold under two names, a 7900GX2 or a 7900GTX Duo. And it depended on which, um, System Builder sold it to how they labelled it. Uh, I know Dell and Ali Alienware called them uh, 7900 GX2s, but I know some other ones uh, sold them as GTX Duos, so it all depends. Well, that card, uh, finding a proper GeForce variant of that card is one of my top five Holy Grail cards, and sadly, that is not one of the cards that we're going to be looking at today. Aww. No. Uh, we're going to be looking at a better card. Yay! It is this card here. This is a really cool card. This one is based on the 8 series chips. So uh, think 8800, the last versions of the 8800 GT, think uh, 9800 GTX. In fact, the cores under here are the G92s. So this is the same core that was in the 9800 GTX, which is really nice. It's a full, fully fledged cores. Uh, now this is a Quadro FX 4700X2. So this was the next iteration after the 7900 uh, versions. Uh, this one arrived with me today. And if you wish to find one of these on eBay, unfortunately they do sell for a very large amount on eBay. The seller that I managed to buy this off of off eBay was selling them for I think around 700 US dollars. Uh, and I just put in a lowball offer for hundred dollars just for the fun of it. I got a question back like the person contacted me and said, Hey, what do you, you like? What do you plan to do with this card? How many of them do you need? Do you need like just the one, or do you need like ten or whatever? Um, because they were a wholesale of uh, enterprise-based solutions, let's say. Uh, and I said, no, nope, I'm just a video card collector. I've been highly interested in one of these cards um, because there wasn't a GeForce variant of the card, and I would love to own one in my video card collection. And then about five minutes later, my hundred US dollar lowball offer was accepted. So yeah, this card does, it is dual PCB, it is the dual uh, 90, G92 uh, cores that are in there. I love, I love this by the way, this, uh, like the flaring of the, the heat sink coming out through here, it just makes it look like dragon scales, like flames are going to burst out of it. Uh, and I can actually see the tail end of a, you can just see the tail end, oh, where's my finger, there we go, the tail end of two heat pipes, copper heat pipes underneath there as well. Um, but I just, I love this, uh, like the flared heat sink like this. It just looks really awesome. Like you're expecting it to burst out in flames, like, uh, I don't know, exhaust for some like race car or something. It looks really cool. Um, unlike the other version as well, and unfortunately there's a bit of a scratch on the back of the heat sink here, but this is obviously a second hand card. It's not brand new. Uh, but unlike the uh, previous version, this does have a hole in the back of the PCB. In fact, there's even, there's even a hole through this PCB and this one. So you can see, you can see my finger. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tearing this down and as I do, I'm gonna put some music on. Let's kick off into cleaning and uh, pulling, a, pulling apart and stripping mode. <laughs> So guys, something interesting that I just noticed when I, I hadn't actually looked at this card a little bit closer, like between them, uh, but 
the 7950GX2 has a single, um, see the connector down there? It's like, a, it's like an onboard SLI connector that bridges the two PCBs. Um, the 7950GX2 has one of those little connectors. Uh, this card that I just realized has two of them. It actually has two of these bridging things that go between the two cards, which is rather fascinating.
guys, so the card is done, apart from a few fingerprints that I've got to clean off of uh, off the shroud here. Yeah, all in all, the card is back together. It is uh, a really nice card to pull apart and, and put back together. It's very, very similar to a 7950GX2 in the way that it, you sort of have to wedge it apart with the uh, little bridges in there. Be very careful of those. So yeah, thanks very much, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.